Okay, Georgie, has it sunk into you that you did so well at Rio? Because last time I saw you, really nervous about letting everybody down because you've always been very modest about your abilities. Um, sort of, in a very strange way. It's, you know, it's all very surreal still, you know, because obviously when you're out there, you're out there to do a job. So you kind of just sort of block everything else out and, and, you, and you put in the performances and then it's not till you come home that you realise what effect it's had back here and the amount of support that's been behind me and, and everything and it's, it's been incredible and I'm slowly coming back down to earth now. So it's all been a bit overwhelming really that the amount of support you actually did have behind you. Um, yeah, completely. And like, because you do have a certain block on social media. Um, I was logging on and off a little bit, so I saw sort of little bits here and there. But um, yeah, I mean, the, the, just the support has been amazing. So Brilliant. Okay. Now, um, when you were out there, I mean, one of the reasons you came to me in the beginning as your podiatrist was to, to get your orthotic insoles. And how well have you, um, I mean, how important were those orthotic insoles to your performance? I mean, uh, my, my orthotics are really important to me because let alone the biomechanics of the foot are just not good on the affected side. It's as well I have a leg length deficiency. So without my orthotics, um, I have quite a bad limp. Um, and it just helps keep everything sort of in the correct mm. position and mm. especially after the injuries that I've had this year um, I mean there's no way that I'd ever put on a pair of shoes these days without putting my orthotics in Good it's, it's very very important brilliant okay now and when you were out there were, did you actually get any problems with that left foot um, when I was out there obviously I you know had best best sort of treatment best in the world we're so lucky so um you know uh, after every training session you know they'd be icing it and then you'd be on the um uh, uh, exogen is it exogen uh, if you say so sorry um yeah it's <laughs> like a bone stimulating kind of machine oh thing. the bone density yeah, and all yes. of that and they put you on that and you know and they work on it every day and you know so kind of it's that's the easy bit when you get to that point because you know you know that you're going to be fine from then on in now did you miss your accelerate because um prior to going to rio you had um, the loan of the accelerate um, which is the Oconia low level laser to help sort of speed up recovery and keep you injury um free did you did you miss it when you went to rio because i know you couldn't take it with you yeah i was a little bit disappointed that i couldn't it was a shame really but i'm um, you know, it, it is so useful for me and for the healing process. And after, I use it for after every single training session. You know, it's just to sit there for 10, 20 minutes and just it really helps with everything with my feet. And, and I even use it on other parts of my body as well, especially my legs. So it's, um, you know, I did miss it. And, um, you know, maybe next time. Right, so now you're back, when are you planning? Um, um, what is your next big event? Have you got any big events sort of in the pipeline? Um, so now obviously we're back into winter training. Um, the major event next year is the London 2017 World Championships. Um, so that will be my London 2012 moment really. So um, that's the big one next year. Um, I'm obviously back into winter training now. Uh, the next Probably my next race will be maybe March or April time. I'm hoping to go to Dubai, which is where one of our Grand Prix is, uh, um, and just you know sort of sort of get the cobwebs out and sort of see how we go. So, what does a winter training program consist of? Um, everything gets very heavy, um, so we're lifting quite heavy in the gym now. Um, which is probably my weakness so we're working on that everything on track gets a little bit longer higher reps you know and it really works on sort of um cardio and endurance and you know from that we can then transfer that into speed work as we come into the new year um so it's actually my favorite part of the year because i'm i love a good slog i'm one of these people that ha happily would go over higher reps and train in distance than actually sprint stuff so yeah no i like this part of the year and do you actually sort of um, catch up with um, your fellow sort of athletes? Do you go off to training camps with them? Um, do you meet up with them? We'll have a few. I think there's one camp in March where I'll meet up with the rest of um, the world class podium funded athletes through the National Lottery. And that's all fingers crossed that I actually do get onto funding, uh, which I think will renew this Christmas uh, or not, depending on how they think I've done. Um, so that's always a bit of a um uh, maybe a worrying time of year because obviously everyone's fighting for their place and everyone needs that funding you know so um 
once that's out of the way there'll be a couple of training camps and we'll have warm weather training hopefully maybe sort of February time just sort of see how we go um, but I'm sort of taking I'm trying to be more relaxed now leading up into London you know because I have the experience of Rio under my belt now so now I know that there's no so, so is it now Japan uh, Tokyo um. Tokyo is the big one um, so I always said I'd go to London in 2017 and then I'll play it year on year um, but the nature of my disability and the nature of my foot it needs a hell of a lot of looking after and I don't know how it's going to be sort of month on month let alone year on year so um, yes of course Tokyo would be amazing that's the big goal right so I think we need to get you another um, a Kony Air Accelerate just yes. to keep you uh, that's four years to keep you on track <laughs> that would be great please on the Christmas list okay right Oconia have you heard this can we get Georgie and just, accelerate that'd be great that, no that'd be that'd be awesome you know anything like that it just makes my life so much easier mm. and it makes makes you know the whole Paralympic cycle possible brilliant